My craving for Jamaican food recently has gotten so bad that I decided to look up if there was like a Caribbean store or supermarket near me and I found one and I just went ham on stuff. And I thought of it because I was making dinner and then my dad was like, you need to go to like a Jamaican grocery store to get like the like right seasoning. Um, Cause we, uh, in like the local supermarket, they won't have like the Grace brand, which is like a Jamaican known brand um, or just stuff that is just like from the islands. Um, so I just found this store and I literally <laughs> went nuts in there. And I was like, wait, I can always come back here. But this is like literally almost everything that I've been craving. Um, the second all this is over, I'm booking a flight. I'm going to Jamaica just for the food, like the Kentucky and every, every other thing that I can't get here. So I got like plantains, which I actually get in the local grocery store. Um, I just saw these there and I picked them up because I ran out. Um, but this is not as ripe as it gets. It gets riper and that makes it a little bit sweeter, but I just got this so I could set it down for a few days and make it more ripe. Or the green one, which you could fry and it makes like really, really good like plantain chips, which um, this is like the plantain chip version of that. So that makes this. <laughs> um, and this is like the sweet one. Uh, they didn't have the green one, which mm, I like this one better. And then like banana chips. But if you're like from the islands, you know that there's always like a debacle on like which one's better, chippies or St. Mary's banana chips. So I got both so I could go ham. And then the spice bun. I haven't had this in like seven, eight years. Um, Bigfoot, which is like a uh, my childhood snack that I would grow up on like browning a lot of people don't know what browning is but this is like it's kind of like a sauce that gives your meat or your chicken your uh your meat color so you know how sometimes you like bake or like grill chicken and it just stays kind of like pale this like gives it the nice brown golden flavor um so you season up your meats with that um they had like the jamaican jerk marinade and this freaking spicy ketchup I honestly actually has never have never seen this so um but i want to make it like a jerk chicken sauce with this and i'm excited to try and then like this sweet and spicy hot pepper sauce i swear to god like i want to like pack up a care package for all my friends and just ship it to them um and then this is like our version of coconut milk it's the same thing it's just a different brand but again hits home all-purpose seasoning and then a jerk I got Milo and I used to have this every single morning when I was a kid. This was like, or I want to say a, a version of like hot chocolate. I don't think it is because like on it, it says like energy, like vitamins, minerals. And, is that minerals? Yeah, I see. We never read stuff, but it says it's an energy like food drink. So is this supplegin. Um, my dad used to say that I would always ask for supplegin when I was little. And this is like a meal replacement um, thing. So like... If you work out, that's like a good thing to have after. Um, and then this, I knew of it, but I don't think it's something that I really tried. So I got one just to try to see if I like it. And lo and behold, patties. I got frozen patties. So keep this in the fridge and heat them up in the oven and then have a, like, it's golden crust for those of you who know what it is. Um, it's a golden crust brand. And then this is like cheese in, in a can or something or whatever. You literally have to like cut it out of it. So um, yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm super excited because I'm going to go crazy on all these. And I can't wait. But I'm making like jerk chicken tomorrow. So I want to try out all these like seasons and flavors. I want to season up the chicken like the right way and get it done and like make a nice sauce for it. So I'm so excited. <laughs>